Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a macro in Salesforce. Before we begin, what are macros? Macros are a powerful automation tool in Salesforce that allows you to record a series of actions and replay them later with a single click. In many scenarios, they're used in leads or cases, but they are not limited to these objects. You can automate repetitive tasks such as updating fields, sending emails, or creating uh, records. Let's uh, do a few things before we create a macro. First, go to the quick find box in setup, type in macro, click on macro settings. We're going to check these off. So um, we can put our macros in folders and organize them and have uh, certain users have access to these uh, macro folders. And within these macro folders, they have the macros they can use. So click on save. Okay, that is done. We're also going to go to the macro object. Click on object manager. And on the quick find, click type in macro. Once macro appears, click on macro, go to the page layout. And what you want to make sure is that in the layout for the macro that there is folder. Now, in any case, if it is not there, if it is not here, just uh, grab it from here and just drag and drop and then save. So, when you create a macro, you can actually assign it to the uh, proper folder. Once that is done, go back to the uh, object manager. You want to create a quick action for lead. I'm going to have an example where a lead can be updated. So go here, buttons. And just to let you know that I already have created it. And I'll show you what fields are available right here. So lead status, keep this lead, reason for disqualification, timeline, and rating. More to come uh, in the demo. You also want to make sure that uh, it is on the proper page layout. As you can see, the quick action is called disqualify lead. I made sure it is uh, appearing in lightning experience in the lead layout. So once that's done, another thing you have to do is provide permissions for the user. So you can do it from profiles or uh, permission set. And I'll show you that real quick. Custom profile sales profile. You want to look for the macros. So macros is on run macros on multiple records, enabled that. Manage, ma manage macros users can't undo. Enable that, uh, read access. Okay, cool. But in any case, maybe sometimes you don't really want to modify the profile. Maybe you just want to create a uh, permission set. So let us go to permission set. And let's go to new. Let's call this uh, macro user. Save. From here, go to app permissions. And let's look for uh, anything with macros. Let's click on edit first. Okay, enable this one. Create, update, and run macros that include irreversible instructions. Run macros on multiple records. Sure. And uh, save. Click save.
Then from here, you just want to manage the assignment. And you can add your assignment and assign a user. You know, we can give it to, you know, Christy Romano. Uh, she doesn't really need it, but uh, this is just to show you that um, you assign to the user once you have the configurations made in the app permission. Okay, there's that. Another thing which you want to do is go to uh, App Manager. Click on App Manager. You're going to select the app where you want the macro uh, utility to appear. We're going to use Sales and Sales Console. So what you do is right here in Sales, Lightning Sales, you want to do on the drop down, Edit. You're going to go to the utility items. It's already here, but I'll show you what you do. So you just click on add utility item and then click on macro. And then you click save right here at the bottom. But seeing the fact it's already here, I don't need to click save. And there, there's no need for two of them here. So just remove that. We're going to go back. If your team is using Sales Console, which is uh, highly recommended, you can also add the macro there as well. It's already here, but this is just to show you. Once you add it from Utility, a macro, uh, there should be uh, a Save button that appears here. Click on Save. But yeah, that's it for uh, the prerequisites. Now let's go through a quick demo on how to create this. All right, so before I create the macro, I'm going to create a folder just to organize them. And how to get there is from the app launcher, just uh, type in macro and just click on macros. You'll be there. So once you're here, just click on new folder. Let's call this lead macros. So we have a destination. All right, so that is done, but we need to share it to give access to uh, specific users. Now you can pick uh, users, roles, public groups, um, however you see fit. For this example, I'm going to just stick with users. So let's do, uh, sorry, let's go to names right here. Go ahead, Christy Romano. You can give view, edit, manage. I'm just going to stick with view. I'm going to click share once I have my name appearing there, who I want to share it with. And that person is added. Click done. Now that user will have access to that folder with macros. Now let's create the macro. All right, so this lead right here, we're going to build the macro. This is how we're going to do it. Right at the bottom left, click on macros. Click on the plus sign. Let's call this uh, disqualify lead close lead. We're going to keep it as lead. Here's a bunch of objects you can choose from, but we're going to use lead and we're going to select the folder where we want to store it. So put lead macros. Okay, that's where it's going to be. Save. We have all our information here. We're going to click on edit instructions. Right here, we're in the macro builder. I'm going to uh, do uh, add logic, uh, like an if statement. So it could be or, or all. 
I mean, I meant to say and or or. Uh, it doesn't seem to have, say, uh, filtering logic, but we're going to do all conditions are met. All right, so let us add the condition. I'm going to do, say, for example, lead source uh, equals web. We're going to do add condition where you referred equals no. So when the user runs the macro, um, it has to meet these conditions in order for it to execute. All right, so let's go to add instructions. To add instructions, select a region, supported regions are highlighted on hover. As you can see, these can be uh, added. The whole purpose is to uh, update uh, lead fields for this example. Maybe you have a good uh, reason to write out something, but you don't really want to write it out because it's just too much work for your uh, sales reps, but this is how it will work. Now we have the uh, layout for the quick action. Let's do that, click on that, click on the field, and it'll go right here. I'm going to pick uh, close lead. Uh, I'm going to do keep reason for disqualified, set in stone. Just some random reason, but uh, you know, your process might be different. I'm just showing you an example. Does not meet, or let's just say, was not referred. Let's click on rating. So that's added. Let's do cold. And uh, let's uh, click save. You can also add a closed tab instruction, but this is more applicable to the sales console. And I can show you that uh, later on. So add close tab instruction. And uh, that's it. That's it for this one. So click save. Let's see. So we have our logic here. All right, so that is done. So that's saved. So close out of here, out of the macro builder. We're back here. Now let's go to the lead. So let's pick our proper lead source web where you referred. Let's go to uh, no. So lead source is uh, web and where you referred is no. So click on uh, macro, click on lead disqualified, and you can click on run uh, macros. You can also edit or view details, but let's run it. So it's running, clicks on the, as you can see, can't close the active tab. Macro can run only on records and lightning console apps. Well, even though it said it failed. Um, it still filled out what it need to fill out. Keep this lead, not set in stone, right then and there. But you know what? Let's show it from a user's perspective. I'm going to sign on as a user real quick. All right, so I signed on as a user who has access to the folder and I'm going to pick a uh, lead. Now it looks a little different from the regular sales app but uh, we just go to details right here. So lead source is uh, purchase list and this is blank. So what's going to happen if I just run disqualified lead? Now the difference from a user's perspective, if you recall 
for Christy, I gave her view uh, access to the folder for the macros instead of edit. So the edit button is not here. Maybe I don't want her to edit it. But I am going to click on run macros and let's see what happens. As you can see, it didn't necessarily run even though it says macros applied because it says condition not met. Now let's change uh, the lead source to web and uh, where you referred to no. Okay, save. Now what's going to happen after I run the macro is going to change the status. It's going to fill out the uh, fields mentioned in the uh, disqualify lead quick action. And it's going to cl uh, close out this tab. So let's click on disqualify lead, run macros. There you have it. And it closed out that tab. And it's complete. That's all I wanted to show you today in this video. Check out the video description for more information and resources. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.